How's it going, everybody? Level M Diecast. Convoy time. Not something we typically have on the channel. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to bring some of these to you today. We are going to be covering some Matchbox Super Rigs. We are also going to be covering some Major at 600 Series trucks. Uh, we're going to kick it off with Matchbox, though. Uh, this is from 93. Uh, it was probably a 94 release of Super Rigs. I do have the full set of six here on the back. I do have the branded, self-branded truck here. We got Nintendo, Cheerios, Hershey's, Harley-Davidson, and, of course, Pepsi. So, first one to take a look at. This is the Nintendo. Uh, this is the um, Kenworth Cab Over. Pop this guy out of the blister. There we go. Here is your base Deets. Made in Thailand, 1981. This case, the casting's been around for a very long time. Uh, does not have an interior. Um, they don't have interiors on these, but... Truck looks really, really good. Chrome details on it. Nice Nintendo logo there on the side. This is the trailer that Matchbox used quite extensively. Um, been around forever, just as long as the convoy trucks themselves. Um, <clears throat> this one has the uh, integrated stand in there. Uh, it is a metal base. Um, and then this top part is all plastic. Does have opening doors in the back. Looks pretty good. It's all hollow in there. They did do this trailer for premium as well, but they did modify it on the back here to have the, you know, a little bumper guard there to keep you from crashing into it when you, uh, or sliding under it when you crash into it. Uh, these just kind of hook on at an angle. Um, and then, well, they used to do that. I guess they don't really slide on there. There's a little bit of a lip on the uh, fifth wheel in there, but used to slide in there and then it would, it would hold in there. But these ones don't hold in there. But it looks pretty good. Um, definitely not 164 scale for sure. Uh, not scaled to the rest of the Matchbox stuff, even at the era uh, that these came out at. This is just, you know, make it fit in the blister as well as possible. So there is our first one. Uh, keep it going with the uh, Kenworth cab over. We do have this uh, Harley Davidson, which looks pretty good. Uh, by the way, this guy was printed. So that one's all printed. Um, I believe this one will be a sticker. Slide him out. Get the box. So the cabs are always going to be printed, which looks pretty good. Wow, that's a sticker. Very interesting. Very interesting. So the red and yellow is printed on the truck, but the actual logo itself is a sticker. So must have been a um, you know an issue with printing at some point in time. They probably didn't have as good of uh, printers to get something that small on there that looked that good. You see the background behind it is just black. So they do have the outline in the print of the Harley Davidson logo. They just didn't have it in there. <clears throat> uh, this is the trailer. Of course, it does have a sticker on it, just like I figured. Harley Davidson made in the USA. Harley Davidson's made in the USA. Obviously, this truck is not. <clears throat> no base deets on the bottom other than just, um, you know, it's a trailer. It's an articulated trailer. Guy has the same opening doors as well. So slow him in there. I could have swore that these like you'd put them in and then you'd put them to the side and then they would stay in there, but apparently not. <clears throat> apparently they don't do that. All right, we're gonna go on to the very next one. We're gonna change cabs a little bit. Uh, this is the Aerodyne. Uh, it's still Kenworth, but it's an Aerodyne. Uh, it does have the sleeper on the back. This is in Hershey's chocolate. Of course, they all have nice chrome, you know, details on the truck like it should. Not skimping out at this time. There is your base Deets, your Kenworth Aerodyne. Again, a little bit of a smushed, smushed casting, but it's got to fit in the blisters. It does have those nice two smokestacks on there. Again, no interior. Very interesting. So I got a cost cutting measure for sure. This is the trailer here. Just a sticker. Nothing fancy. It looks like a giant chocolate bar taking the uh, wrapper off of it. So the way that these are assembled, by the way, it just hooks in the front here and then they 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 melt the uh, quote unquote rivets in the back. Um, if you find these in like dump bins and stuff, typically these will be separated because the trailer part will come off over time. It gets banged around. Tim. 
Oh, maybe you have to slide it back. Yeah, but if you slide it back, it doesn't look right. Like, it's too far back. I don't know. I don't know. I'll let it go. It's just interesting. I, I don't do a whole lot of convoys, so... Um, I've done everything Matchbox. I've just always kind of stayed away from convoys. Uh, Cheerios. This is the Ford uh, Aero Max. I think that's what it's called. I think it's the Ford Aero Max. We had the Aero Dine. Now we have the Aero Max. This casting was used in the reinventation of uh, convoys back in 2005. They did use this casting, kind of carried it forward. Those castings there did not make it towards that new one uh this one's pretty nice because it just has a lot of chrome on the bottom so it gets all the you know flaps and stuff in there i really like this particular casting i think this is one of the best ones it does have an interior as well looks pretty good this truck is a uh, truck is too many pieces according to uh current current build uh, quality right now uh cheerios just a sticker on the side same trailer though really wasn't a whole lot of um Ah, not a whole lot of flexibility at this time. You know, this is kind of when the convoys were dying down and uh, definitely weren't as popular. I'm not really sure why, but they just weren't. All right, we do have Pepsi. This is a, another uh, Ford Aeromax. Got Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, and then normal Pepsi again. Old school 90s Pepsi logo. Get this guy out of there. There we go. Uh, just a standard logo on the side. Just says Pepsi. Nothing on the top here. The Cheerios did have the little cowl on the top painted up with some Cheerios. But this guy just gets regular Pepsi. Just regular, you know, standard. As a matter of fact, if you see, you know, Pepsi delivery trucks driving around, that's pretty much all you get is just the just the logo on it. Uh, this one, again, just doors open. They just wanted to flop right open on their own. They look pretty good. It does have some nice detail on there. So I just want to showcase that. Sticker on the side. Nothing, nothing doing. Just, you know, same old, same old. Throw this guy right there. Get our little mini truck stop going on. Uh, this is the last one in the mix. This one does have a different trailer, thankfully. Uh, same Kenworth Aerodyne. Uh, this is, you know, their own self-branded truck. Get in the fast lane. This was the 90s. This was Tyco. Uh, this was several years before Mattel bought Matchbox, so... Matchbox was still rocking their own thing. It is super, super neon orange. Uh, that is printed, though. The Matchbox logo is printed. So kind of an interesting bag of stuff they have here. Uh, it does have chrome base, but it's a little bit of a, a little bit more silver than chrome. Kind of interesting the way that they chose to do that. Uh, this is the trailer. So this is kind of the um, car hauler slash moving kind of trailer. Uh, they use this for, you know, a bunch of different things, but it just folds down. That, as far as the ramp goes, it does not go to the ground. Uh, this trailer was also used for a lot of different things. This low boy, they put the rocket launcher on the back here and some other stuff. Um, they also use this base for the uh, fire station, or not fire station, but the fire truck uh, one on the back. They also use this one for the TV news truck accessory on the back as well. Um, that was, you know, when convoys were much, much nicer. This is a giant sticker on the side. Looks pretty good. I like it. Get in the fast lane. Very, very nice. Very, very 90s matchbox for sure. Put that guy on there. Throw him back. See, that trailer is much bigger. Now, we do have a couple of bonuses. <clears throat> so, this right here is a later run of the Super Rigs. Uh, this is from about 97, 98. So this is the assortment on the back. Uh, there seemed to be just a lot of food stuff, but there was pretty cool ones in here. There was your action system truck, the FedEx truck, a different Pepsi truck. The rest of them were pretty pretty bland, but fortunately the one that we do have that's pretty good is the FedEx truck. So pretty happy to add this one. Um, now if you guys are keeping up on the you know Matchbox news, you'll know that there is a FedEx delivery truck coming in 2023 in the A case. Um, it is their standard delivery truck, so it's nothing new. It is nothing new um, as far as like, you know, a casting or anything. But it is nice to see the FedEx uh, deco back on that truck. Or I'm not sorry, on the on that truck. Just back in general. Um, I don't even know if this one's going to go in there. 
There we go. Forced it in there. So this is the Max CH600. Um, this is another casting from the old school uh, convoy line. Uh, very, very nice casting. Does have an interior in there. Always good to get some Max. Does have FedEx logo there on the side. The world on time, it says FedEx Express. Same exact trailer, though. Nothing different from that. Still looks good. Still looks good sitting there as a convoy truck, of course. Uh, another one from even newer than that set. Uh, this is from 99, 2000, somewhere around there. Uh, this says 98, so uh, this is probably the very next year after this one. They did come out with a new blister style, new logo. Uh, this is uh, after, of course, they were purchased by Mattel. So they were still doing some convoy trucks at the time. I think this may have been the last year for convoy trucks, though. So well, ugh, blister is super difficult to get to. There we go. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Apologize. Get him out of the blister, hopefully. Uh, just the mix on the back. No, a lot of these I've never personally seen, so I don't know if they all made it out. I know that guy made it out. This guy made it out. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen the Nickelodeon truck. I don't think I've ever seen the cornflakes or the Fruit Loops, but they did do a premium like ice cream one. Wasn't this one, obviously, but um, who knows? There are some other ones that were supposed to come out, like Caterpillar Lifesavers. But I don't know if those ever came out, unfortunately. And and if they did, I probably wasn't going to be up on them. I, I'm relatively uh, new to the convoy realm, I guess you can say. Uh, so this is Coca-Cola. Uh, that same Ford Aeromax. Very simple decos. Sticker on the side. Again, nothing fancy. You know, they didn't put a lot of time or money into these trucks, unfortunately. And I think that's kind of why they kind of teetered off a little bit. So it's kind of unfortunate. Now, I do have something kind of a treat, I guess you can say. So this is some of the original style convoys that they did. Um, this was the Shell Tanker. This is the Scania T142 cab. So I was fortunate enough to get enough stuff to get a good variety for you guys, good selection. Uh, this is the mix on the back of these. You see that they had way, way better stuff here. They had helicopter transport. They had a... Um, uh, you know, um, canvas top trailer, you know, they had the hauler, a boat hauler, tanker like we saw. There's a car hauler, double containers. You know, they had really, really cool stuff. But all this stuff kind of went away because it was more expensive. Um, and unfortunately, they just stuck with, you know, you know, box trailers. This one is in a very destroyed card. Uh, card is definitely had better days. Uh, CY17 is the number here. Um, all convoys used to have their own number. I don't think that they did that when they get to this era, but they did used to all have their own special numbers. So this is the Scania T142. This is one of the best castings they've ever done for Convoy. Uh, nice, huge push bar in the front. Super accurate. Looks really, really good. Even with its small size, this one's particularly nice. Has a nice gray base on it. Like details in there for the uh, front axle. Of course, your intake and your exhaust look very, very good. Pretty basic on the um, you know base, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, this is the uh, tanker trailer. It is a metal base. So all this gray you see is metal. Again, integrated trailer stands on the trailer. Uh, this piece here is a separate um, plastic piece for the uh, kind of hose inlets. And of course, super chrome tank. Does have integrated um, placard on the back. Looks pretty good. Yeah, they made some pretty cool stuff back in the day. So this whole um, um, tank top just snaps right on the top. See, there's a snap part there and a snap part there. So if you find these in dumb bins, they're probably going to be separated. Uh, this one's just really nice with the shell and the super chrome. We'll kind of push him in there. See, look how good that looks. It looks super good. It looks super accurate. You know, these are probably more HO scale than anything um, by far, nowhere near 164 scale, obviously. Um, but they, you know, they did the best they could with the size that they were supposed to supposed to sport with these. So, we'll make a little bit of room here. Kind of throw some trucks around. 
Get some FedEx. There we go. Put the tanker on the side here. Now, you guys know that I did pick up some Majorette the other day, and I figured I'd just throw them in with here. Since we're talking about convoys, now I want you guys to understand Majorette and Matchbox, two completely different price points. Although they do have the same relative style of products, they're way different price points. So don't quite hate on Matchbox just because how much better these 600 series are going to look. So I did pick up the you know these 600 series in a trade. You guys hopefully watched that video. If not, uh, definitely go check that out. Uh, these came from Australia. I did have the guy just go ahead and cut the tops of the uh, blisters off to make less space since we're going to crack them open anyways. So there's really no deets to check out on the back should you want to look at the uh, you know UPC number, whatever. There you go. So we'll just go ahead and get into this. Mage Red it has very thick blisters. They have very thick backing on these. So this will take a little bit of an effort to get these out. Mage Reds are very very high quality in comparisons so we'll lay him out now unlike the matchbox ones these ones come pre-hitched to the trucks um, they do just pop off just like that this is the mercedes-benz actros this is not from the original 600 series now i will be legit with you guys these are now just called transporters they're still the 600 series this is still the exact same flat boy casting um, that they have used in the 600 series since it was brand new in the late 80s. It's so the same, same exact casting. It's been updated. It's been modified. Some features have been taken out of it. It's the same trailer, though. So to me, these are still 600 series, and they will always be 600 series. It um, does have nice printing on the back. A little bit of uh, you know, tail light printing. Looks like the casting's a little smushed. It happens. Um, it's all metal, though. All the silver you see is all metal. All that nice detail on the front. Mercedes logo does have print for the front lights. It is in a police deco. I really like this wheel. This is not as good as the original 600 series wheel. That was two piece. But it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Um, there is suspension on these trucks. Although the rear doesn't have any space to move. But they do have suspension in there. Very interesting the way that uh, Majorette does that. Uh, this is their triple axle low boy. Does have a ramp that folds down. The original version had a separate roller here that you could actually roll. Um, this is all one piece now. Other than that, it's been unchanged. It's the exact same casting. They've always had all these attachments on the inside here um, to attach you know, various vehicles on it. This one is for a helicopter. This is a licensed helicopter. This is an Airbus. There we go. Uh, Airbus, I believe it's a... Uh, maybe it says on the bottom. Mm, just says Eurocopter, uh, but it is an Airbus. It is licensed, and it does have um, all your opening blades. They are very small, but it does open up. It does exactly what it should. It's a little stiff on the rotation, but it does rotate. So Majorette doesn't skip on any of that stuff. So you just fold up the blades. The uh, landing gear has always been designed to snap into these two front snaps here. So it snaps in side to side, get the back in there, there you go. So the way it works is the little notch in the back holds the front, the little notch in the front holds that part, um, and then it'll keep it from falling off, which is very, very good. So it's pretty sweet. Major at 600 has always been the pinnacle of, you know, convoy trucks, at least in my opinion. Matter of fact, they're going to be going right on the top right there. We got another one here. This is the speedboat hauler. Uh, again, exactly the same trailer section, same boat, same everything that they've had forever. Um, just the trucks have changed. Um, they don't do any of the original trucks, unfortunately. Uh, but all the trailers are the same. As a matter of fact, I don't think they even came out with a new trailer uh, until they just recently did that um, uh, Volvo, Volvo construction line. Struggle's real. The backing on Majorette is like twice as thick as a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox car. It's like, it's like legitimate cardboard. All right, so here is your speed hauler. So this guy will snap off just like that. This is the Man uh, TGS, I think it is. 
Yep, or TGX. I'm sorry, the TGS is the, um, the other truck that they make. Again, all the yellow you see is all metal. Um, it's even two sections, so this top cab is separate. You'll see the brake here. Kind of difficult. There we go. You see the brake right there. Um, it is all metal, though. Nice details on the print on the front. And they all have interiors. Again, suspension, although it doesn't move in the back because there's just nowhere for the wheels to go. They still have suspension, which is kind of interesting. Uh, this is the trailer. Again, if you're a longtime collector of Majorette, Transporter Series trucks and 600 Series trucks, um, you'll know that these are all the same. Um, they've probably simplified the you know, casting a little bit on the boat, but it's still the same. Still comes off of the backing here. Usually just slides back. There we go. Easiest way to get it out. Just slide it backwards. There we go. Uh, simple print on the side. Nothing fancy. It is all plastic, so it's very, very light. Uh, very simple details, but it works. It works. And, of course, it just has the holder for the boat there. Nothing fancy with it. So you just slide it in. There's little notches. You see this little notch right there. Slide it in. Kind of snaps in there and the boat goes nowhere. Definitely not one of the better ones. Uh, definitely not the best, but it's still pretty good. Uh, this one's pretty good though. This is the car hauler. Again, same trailer they've been using forever. Uh, even have a lot of knockoffs of this trailer. You know, Maesto did a knockoff of that trailer as well. Get this blister open. Nope. That one actually opened a little bit better. Oop. Slide this guy off. So same man casting as the last one. You'll see much better on this one. You'll see the uh, cab brake, you know, because the top's blue and the bottom is black. Very good quality, high quality prints. Looks very, very good. Unfortunately, no prints on the back. No tail light prints or nothing, but that's okay. And then, of course, here is the actual trailer. Now, that's probably a real website. It's probably a real livery. I wouldn't be surprised. It's kind of the way Major Out works. It does have a ramp that comes down, and then the top comes down, so you can load it. So if you have it down, you drive your cars up on the top. As a matter of fact... You want to load up your Porsche 911 GT3 RS. We'll hook it back up to the truck. There we go. And you want to put it on the top. Bring him up. There you go. Lift the top. Snaps into place. There you go. Now you can transfer your 911 GT3 RS. Although, if I had a 911 GT3 RS, I would, I would put it in the belly so that I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Maybe put my, um, you know, Carrera 4S on the top. Might be better. So there you go. Looks looks a lot better that way. Uh, only holds three cars, but that's perfectly fine. Um, most all majorettes will fit in the bottom of this. That's kind of the way it was designed. Uh, but if you have a truck, of course, you can't put it on there. It doesn't fit. So take our little mini GT helpfuls out of there. There we go. Kind of put in. I'll kind of just set them right there for now. All right, very last one in the mix. Laid, waited to the last for this one because this one's got a bunch of accessory pieces on it. All right, this one is the recycle truck. And it comes with all these recycle containers that go on here. Now, they've made a bunch of versions of this. They've been doing this one for a while as well. Get this guy to snap back in there. There we go. Now, this uh, whole get up again, it's been around forever. This is not nothing new. The crane does everything you think it should do. Um, has several um, pivot points, and, of course, it does rotate around. Um, this piece actually popped off, but it does uh, snap into here, so we'll get that fixed uh, momentarily but what you do is you just go around and you say hey, i want to deliver this particular um Oop. there we go 
snaps in there very well. There you go. You just say, I want to deliver this guy. Just take it, put it down, unhook it. There you go. Now, these, um, these ones here don't do anything. They're just one single piece. does have your um, recycle logo on there, but, you know, nothing with it. It's just a solid piece of plastic, so all three of those. Um, however, these ones are much, much better. These ones um, actually have a little bit better print on it, plus they open. So it opens up. Not that you'd ever really need to put anything in there, but you can. And it opens up on both sides. Just there we go. Looks pretty good. They all have this circular kind of mounting point for the trailer. Uh, this is the exact same thing, just in silver. So nothing different between that. We'll snap this guy off. I think I might have already got that trailer hook back on there. There we go. So we got that fixed on there. Pop those back down in there. I mean, this is what I always talk about with you guys about Major Ed just doesn't... It's very, very rare for them to miss the little things. And of course, they're like, okay, if I'm going to make this trailer with all these accessories, how do I make it to where they don't fall off? So that, you know, kids are not chasing them around all the time or potentially even losing them. And that's how you do it. Now, I think if I remember the crane sits right in the front there. Again, Major Ed always thinking about how to fix things. Crane has an actual spot that it sits in. This is another one of the Actros. A little bit better view of the print on the front, which is the dark orange. Looks super, super good. Other than that, it is all the same. No deets are different. This one doesn't get any uh, print on the back, unfortunately. Lots of detail in the casting, though. Of course, everything is uh, orange. Everything orange is metal, as I mentioned. We'll just hook him back on there. There you go. Again, just looking pretty good, rolling around. So we'll bring our other convoy truck up. We'll bring this guy up and just clog up the screen there. So there you go. That is a nice selection of convoy trucks. Covers Matchbox and Major Alt. I can't stress this enough to you guys. These are significantly more expensive than the convoys ever were. Uh, but they justify that price by keeping all that functionality in there. And I think that it's awesome that Majorette still to this day still does that. They still care about that. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me just think about convoy trucks. Let me know if you like those or not. Um, definitely my favorite line here. Just saying. Love it. So we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Level Peace.